Hello, good people of YouTube. Now I'm Benton here, and today I'm bringing you guys my second impressions video for the Tier 5 Premium Austro-Hungarian Battleship, the Veribus Unitus, or I'm, I probably butchered it again, I apologize um, to those that always get annoyed when I when I butcher things, uh, names, um, so I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, so in the, my first impressions video for the Unitus, I said that she was way too undergunned in the AA department, health pull was far too low, has a crappy hill, um, but has good maneuverability, the guns are nice, and decent concealment. And I gotta say, most of that still holds true now. Now, I have been playing it far more over the week than I normally play Tier 5 ships, and I've gotta say, my opinion on it has slightly improved. I have, during this week, seen glimpses of greatness from the ship of what the ship could have been or still can be with just a tweak or two really only one tweak and i'll get to that in a second i'm going to run you through the strengths and weaknesses that i see in the ship now so the strengths the guns are really nice they have a they hit hard when they do bite um the downside is because of the velocity they are over pinning most cruisers unless they are angled um but as far as accuracy and punching power go they work 85% uh, of the time. They work very, ni very nicely 85% of the time. You run into issues when you get to when you get to up to your to tier seven, and you kind of start bouncing off of other off of uh, other battleships and just overpinning cruisers. So that gets annoying after a while. Um, the maneuverability. The ship is very maneuverable. Although you will lose a lot of your speed when you maneuver, you can still dance around quite nicely. So you can dodge most torpedoes that you get a fair warning on. And her concealment, she has a concealment uh, range of 10.9 kilometers with um, concealment expert. And, I mean, that is very nice, but the ship was supposed to have 10.4 max concealment. I don't know what happened to that, but that went out of the window. And her armor, she has fantastic bow armor, over 100 mil. Uh, she has that 100 millimeter bow, uh, well, it's like 100 and something millimeter bow. Um, if you want to see the more finite details of her armor, go check out my first impressions video. I do a whole uh, section on her armor. So, those are the good things. Now let's look at the bad things. AA has pretty much no AA for her tier. She has an AA rating of 8, which is, is no AA. Um, she has not a lot of health for a tier 5 battleship. She has in the mid 30,000s for her health. And, I mean, even with that fantastic bow armor, that's kind of crappy. Well, no, that's not kind of crappy. That's really crappy. Really crappy. Um, I get to that in a second. Terrible torpedo protection. Again, that that kind of also goes along with her health. And well, that's it for her downsides. Um, and the big thing is, if this ship would have been, and a lot of people have been saying this too, if this ship was at tier four. This, this would be a fantastic premium. Um, but it's not. It's, it's at tier five. And the biggest issue, for me at least, it's not the AA, it's not the torpedo protection, it's her health. 35,000 hit points-ish at tier 5 is terrible. Now, I know a lot of people say it's because of her bow arm, but okay, that's only going to protect you against AP and HE that hits your bow. Everything else, that's not going to help out in the least bit. Um torpedoes you you get nicked by a torpedo like a third of your health is just gone and the hill it's it's been changed it's been reduced the case the um citadel damage it can repair and i believe the casemate damage that it can repair was reduced so you'll rarely get through three repair parties in this ship although i have gone through all four that i currently have i don't have superintendent yet I have gone th gone through all four before, but the fourth one usually is just keeping me alive at like 2,000, 3,000 health, um, because I'm either just taking that damage when I when I when I have the repair active, or I'm on fire and I'm you know just kind of just fighting to stay alive. Um, so I mean, I really need superintendent on the ship because you'll never get to it. And I mean that's kind of the one thing that I think they need to change in this ship. In order to make it work at tier five, because I mean, you gotta give the ship something to work at tier five. And I know everyone's gonna say the bow armor, the bow armor, the bow. yes, the bow armor. I I get it, but that's only against AP. 
<laughs> and there's still a section of your bowel that knows that they that other ships can pin. It's it's not impossible to pin this thing on on its bow. It's really freaking hard to, but you can still do it. It's not that hard. It, I mean, it's hard, but it's not impossible. Um, and yes, the maneuverability for the torpedoes. You, you can, you're supposed to use the maneuverability to dodge torpedoes. Yes, I understand that. But aerial drop torpedoes can still wipe off a third of your health. That's how little health this thing has. And in the current meta of just switch to HE and just nuke the thing, it, 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 this ship goes down extremely fast. It has so little health to deal with that. This is probably... Ironically, because it's got this great bow armor, one of the least tanky battleships I've seen. Because it can't take damage. It can sure bounce AP and bounce damage, but it can't take and absorb damage like other battleships. It just can't. Not at its tier. Not tier 4. It would be much better. But at tier 5, having to see tier 7 ships... You have to fight Atlantas, Gneisenaus, Scharnhorst, Colorados, um, all those lovely Tier 7 ships that were made 30 years after this ship was, was launched. You have to fight those things. You get up to it a lot at Tier 5. A lot. And you have to deal with that. And it, it frustrates me because I want to like this ship. I want to like this ship so much. But it's hard for me to do that because it, it's, it's so bad at being a battleship and taking damage. And people have said, um, as, uh, regarding the AA and the uh, and taking damage just by surface ships, it's small, so it's easy to dodge. It's you're not gonna be matrixing around battleship shells and HE shells and. How the hell are you supposed to dodge planes in this thing? <laughs> You're so slow. You're tw 20 knots, which I mean isn't that slow for tier for uh, for tier 5. But everyone's saying, well, just dodge it. it it's a small ship. I, I, what do you think I'm doing? I'm not selling in a straight line while carriers are trying to drop bombs on me. If you go back and watch uh, the first impressions video, I'm trying to dodge the, um, the, the bomb drop from the planes. And hell, the rocket planes shape freaking... I think there's a clip where it shoots like 6k off of me. Um, and it's... God. And AP bombs too. Just good lord. Those things just remove all of your health. And like... I th I, th I think I can get freaking nuked in three runs. Um, if it's a Jap carrier and it's got AP bombs. Which they do. So, yeah. That's a thing that can happen. And you have no defense to get that. And for some reason, half of the AA guns don't even count toward the... Um, toward the AA rating, which, I, I mean, okay, so you activate the other half of the AA guns, AA rating is 16 at tier 5. So you're going to do 16 damage per second instead of 8 damage per second against planes. Okay, it's better, but you're still just going to get harassed by the carriers. Unless they really just take this ship off and just um, rework it. You know, either give it some more AA, give it some more health, give it a better heal. Um... I, I still can't recommend this ship to you guys. Unless you're just a collector and want the thing, then you, you know, you're gonna get it no matter what I say. But, um, don't buy this until they change it. I really don't. I know it's a long awaited ship, but unlike the Alaska, it, it wasn't worth the wait. It, it needs a better heal or more health. Well, if, it, if they would just do one of those two things, then that would improve this ship so much. But will they do that? I don't know. Wargaming has been listening to to us a lot recently, and I sure hope they are listening to us um, as far as this ship goes. And I understand that this was a pretty hard ship to balance with, you know, that bow armor and the guns. Um, but I gotta say, I, I'm surprised this made it past them. You know, I mean, it's the health, like. Uh, I mean, and that is my biggest issue. You know, some people's biggest issue is the AA. And yes, if you do improve the AA, that would certainly help out a lot. But I would say the easiest thing is just crank the ships up, up to like 40, 45,000. It would still be below other tier 5 battleships. So, you know, and it is smaller than the other tier 5 battleships. So it still would be, you know, 
um, in accordance to Wargaming's formula. And that would work, in my opinion. And if they do that, then I'd say this ship would be much better. And the biggest issue I'm having with the ship is that I'm just not able to survive long enough in rounds. And I've tried playing passive, because you guys know I play really aggressive. I've tried slowing down, I've tried hanging in the back. But, I mean, you just can't last the entire battle. You don't have the endurance, because you don't have the health to do it. So, and I mean, yes, I have had the odd, really good game of the ship. Every ship, you know, that happens, you have the odd, really good game where you do fantastically well. Um, but, as far as, like, all the average games goes, uh, go with go, go, go with this ship, I've been performing under average, for sure. For me, because I am a battleship main, you know, 40,000, 50,000, every now and then 60, 70,000 damage. Um, and again, I've had, I have had the odd 110, 105,000 damage game in this ship. Um, but still, not worth it. Wait till they change it. Save your money. I hope they change it, because like I said, I really, 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 really want to like this ship. I really do. I'm not hating on the ship, I'm just hating the situation that it's in right now. So, I'm going to end it there. My voice is going away. Um, yeah, work was something else today, so my voice is almost completely gone. If you like the video, drop a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. On our way to 5,000 subscribers, we're in there extremely fast, thanks to you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you're all having a wonderful... What get this is coming out? Saturday. I'm going to be at Anchors Away in uh, at the USS Alabama today, so I'm not responding to you guys' comments. Um, that's why... And be looking for that video to be up on Monday. Alright guys, hope you're having a great day. Catch all of you guys. And the next one. Good god, my voice.